this evening's uh, speaker is Mark Taylor, um, and the subject is going to be the Queen sacrifice in games and studies. And um, I think uh, we, we uh, flippantly said you've heard of the Queen's Gambit. Well, now Mark's going to show us some games and studies with Queen sacrifices. Why not? So with that, I will pass over to Mark. Thank you, Mark. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got it set up to do um, two game study, two game study, two game study, two game study, that sort of thing. Um, the studies are quite hard, so I'll try getting you to pick out individual moves. And in the games, I'm going to ask you in, uh, individual moves at some point as well, see what people think. Um, as, as, the, uh, as the spiel says on the Cambly site, it's not, it's not just green sacrifices. There are other sacrifices as well in some of the games, in most of the games. So if I say what's what is next move, don't just assume it's a queen sacrifice, okay? <laughs> just give you that hint, okay? Yeah. Okay. So let me uh, start up. This is this is um, this is a game feat from England in 1952, featuring um, a decent player called Bruce Hayden and uh, the very famous and frequently appearing A N Other. Yeah. <laughs> he gets around a bit, that guy, he doesn't does. he? He never does very well either, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So uh, Hayden is white, A and other is black. Mm. Has A and other ever won a game? Uh, not yes. many. Against yeah. yeah. well, I have to tell you, A and other plays oh. up to the standard in this game. So. Mr. Walkover oh. wins lots of games. This, this is slightly dodgy because it really <coughs> loses a pawn, but um, but nonetheless, Hayden Hayden does something else. And bishop b4, bishop b2, knight f6, castles. This, this looks very much like um, uh, a yeah. Zillion line, only um, oh, it might be six before this, but anyway. Um, so, so black bites the pawn, but he does it in a strange way. Is this a named sacrifice, Mark? No. Okay. But it's a, you see this sort of line quite often. I mean, I'd expect knight g4 here, but he, but he played d takes e4. Um, and of course, what you know, what, what's the move here, do you think? Bishop a3. Bishop a3 looks pretty yeah. strong. Stops castling. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, that's an unopposed bishop. And secondly, he stops him castling, yeah. Mm. Uh, so that's that's why this whole idea is bad. It's all a question of timing, and this is bad timing. There's a similar so that, line in the Slav, isn't there? There is. Yes, indeed, yeah. As I played against him, is Tim on? Main, main line. Uh, well, that's making things even worse, B6. Yeah, six I'm not saying, sorry, this is A and other, Julian. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not Duda, you know, A and other. I'm not expecting, uh, I'm not expecting him to do tremendously well. <laughs> so now, now White plays uh, a move and, and Black bites. So he does another great move, which is Knight D5. Oh but it's threatening knight takes three, three, and knight eight. <coughs> um, but on the other hand, he's not getting any pieces out. You take the pawn, yeah. Can you see what it is yet? Yeah, you're oh. second your queen on d1. <laughs> now, he goes, now he goes, oh, now you've fallen straight into it. Well, sort of. Uh. Okay. Now, there's about nine million moves at winning this position. But what do you think white played? Anybody can have a vote. Have ever thought? For, have a look at it first, though. I'm spoiled for choice here. Well, I'll give you his first move. Yeah. Check. Okay. Okay. Now what? Ninety six. Ninety six. Ninety six. I, I, that's impressive analysis, by the way, because he's sacking everything, you know. But yeah. So. Um, I, I, I'm not going to show it, but the engine pointed out Queen G5 in this position, but he's still losing. But it's a <laughs> you'd never play that in a game. No human would ever do that, but let, let alone A and other. But uh, yeah. So how does this work then, chaps? Anybody? The, queen, the queen's the queen's on. If uh, if knight takes queen, knight G7. Knight G7 is mate. Yeah. So, um, so he took it. Oh, so dear. What's the next move? Anybody? Yeah, Queen H5. Queen H5. Check. 
six. Three eight seven. Yeah. Game over. Resign. Ah. I've got to say, if you, if, if you said to someone you, you'll win with a queen sacrifice on h7 after 15 moves, you'd be quite surprised, wouldn't you? If I told you that before it starts. Oh. So, it's, it's not a great game, but it is an absolute absolute crush. I mean, I, I just find it amusing. Yeah. So I don't think I, I've seen that before. You, you probably haven't, no. No. You'll have seen a few of these, though. Most what was the source of that game, uh, Mark? It's from Irving Chernev's 1,000 Best Short Games of Chess. Okay. There's a couple of games in it by Bruce Hayden. Not know, played by Nigel Short, though. I suspect not. <laughs> uh, and and, and he's, he, he's played some, a couple of quite nice games, and they're both in, the, in, that, in that short game, and they're both in that book. But I just, I just, I think that's, I, I just, the notion... It's a tremendous of, game, isn't it? Well, we think so, it's just hilarious. I mean, you, you know, I find it funny anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's that one. Too easy. easy Very nice. Easy starter. So now we'll bring up... Uh, You can just go load next game, actually, if you've got them in the same database. Oh, can I? Okay. Yeah. Oh, if they're sequential uh, games in the same database, you just yeah. go load load next game. Okay, I'll try that next time. Then. So you don't need don't need to keep. I, stopping make, I could make that work on the Crowther one, but maybe that's just me. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I haven't shared it yet. What's going on? Okay. With me. Has it come up yet? It has. Yes. yes. Morozov versus Makayev. Yeah. Okay, so Makayev, mm. right, Morozov, White. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to go. There's quite a lot of moves that just. Yeah, you know, I'll just go through the game. Um. But Black is Black is mostly a very boring positional player. Right. Well, on this occasion, well, it's a very uh, interesting game. I yeah. Think. So we've got an iron English. Well, as it's now called, it's, as Botvinnik system as I know it, but yeah, Botvinnik English. Yeah. Mm. No, I just. F7 looks a bit sensitive. Well, he's tooling up. Yeah. Plays F6. Never played right? Yeah, but... Ben Feingold wouldn't like yeah. that. <laughs> pushing pawns. A lot of, lot of pushing going on. Yeah. Right. Interesting move. He's, he's prepared that with F6. That's, that's what he's done it for. Ooh. Seems reasonable, but Black has f5. Doesn't have to play queen f4 at that point, but uh, wants to get the bishop out. Now, um, you can't take that with a b pawn because it would be too shit, just wins out of hand. So he, he, needs to, he needs to lose a pawn to save a tempo. He covers the second rank, but he's lost a form. Which might not be massively relevant in this position yet, but... Now, that's an interesting move, because the bishop is notionally trapped, although actually winning it is a different matter, but... Oh. Okay. So, um, this is black to play and win. And I'll give you a clue. The first move is a pawn move, but I want the whole sequence. So give it a think, chaps. Well, <clears throat> there's only one pawn that can move. There are two. <laughs> it can be the G4 or F4. Correct. Maybe the whole sequence, sir. Huh? Well, yeah. So G4 and followed by. Queen H4. And then what? 
Uh, and then if the pawn takes pawn uh, g3. Yeah, good try, but close, but not quite, but very close though, good it. Good, good try on this. So bishop there. Yeah, H4 check. Now, now g3 isn't mate because you've got h1. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. So what does back play now? Rook h3. Correct. Ah. And now g3 is mate because he's covering h1 with the bishop. Ooh. Yeah. ooh, ooh. Well done. Tasty. Nice. nice. Do you like it? Yeah, very yeah. tasty. Very clever. Okay, so um, so that's Makovayev. How old was Makovayev when he played that game? Anybody have some guesses? Eight. How did you know? <laughs> eight? Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah, eight, yeah. I don't know how to I, I was meant, that was meant to be facetious, but yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. Everything you say is facetious. Unlike oh, I'm glad it is. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, that's correct, correct, though. Unbelievable. That is queen, amazing. Coming up with Queen H4 at any age is, you know... Well, but, but playing G4 to play it as well, you know, I mean, it was... Uh, Stunner yeah. armour, as we say. Yeah. He's, he's, um, he's I, I looked him up, actually, because he, he was winning everything in the juniors. Most of his games are pretty boring, but, but you know, don't push that. But he obviously can do it, you know. But it, And he's only about, like, he's 22, 70 or something. He's not gone on quite as well as you might expect. <sighs> but anybody who can do that, A, he's a good player, you know. Yeah, I'd um, say so. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody seen that before, apart from me? No. Okay, good. There will be some you have seen before, some of you, so. But next, we have a study. And now we're going to try this technique. What do I do now? Ne no, uh, next load game. next game. Whoa! Did it work? Yeah. yeah. Well, look, as long as you see it. Yeah, look good. at that. I, my invoice will be in the post, Mark. Outstanding. <laughs> the check is in the post, you mean. <laughs> no, the invoice. Yeah, I put, I put the check in the post, or not, you know. Um, mm. Okay, this is a study by Abraham Gurvich, who was um, Israeli. No, Russian, no, known as Soviet, Russian though. Oh, no, okay. No, no, Nineteen twenty-seven. Um, he was a he was a theatre 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 critic. Was his job, and he was known as the poet of uh, of the chess studies. <coughs> he oh, got really? a range of really beautiful chess studies. This is one of his more straightforward ones. Is that a G an example of GBR code? At the top oh, of yeah. the screen. Yeah. It's extended GBR code because it's got the king positions on. As yeah. Well, which I don't normally do myself, but yeah. So I take it know? everyone knows what GBR code is. No, no. I'm going to profess my sort of show me ignorance and say I don't know. I've never, never heard of it before. Well, okay. So, so but ignore, ignore the position of the kings, right? So the base, the original code was, it was, it stand, it, GBR, partly because it's Great Britain, but it was devised by John Roycroft. Um, Richard Guy and Hugh Blandford, who yeah. were um, all, all sort of study composers, and um, well, they're all English. Yeah, they're all all, all, all English. Yeah, but it was yeah. cheap. And the way it works is you have so it it it, it doesn't work for bizarre positions where there are five oh. bishops, right? So things like that don't work very well with it. But normal positions that would appear that that fit within the rules of chess without promoting four bishops. Um, it works. And the way it works is that, so it's either plus or equals, because it's always white, white to play and win or white to play and draw in the studies. That's in yeah. general. There's a few black to play, very few. Um, and the, the first number is um, queens. The second is um, rook, bishop, and then knights. And you and so e each white piece is worth one point, And each black piece is worth three points. So you can tell from that one number how many of each piece there are uniquely. Right. So it uniquely determines how, how many pieces of each type are on the board. So this will tell you that there is, uh, so one is, is one white queen, no rooks, no bishops, which you can see. And eight is, is three plus three plus two plus two, sorry, three plus three plus one plus one, which is two white knights and two black knights. And, and, it, and it works uniquely. You know, on positions where there's normal disposition of pieces. If you've got five knights and six bishops, it's not going to work. But generally yeah. speaking, it works for most chess studies. Uh, and it's just a means of, it's a means of um, searching for chess studies of a certain type, you know, certain certain class. And what do the numbers after the decimal point? It's mean? a pawn, isn't it? 
Uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah, that's the point is white pawn, black pawn. And then yeah. the, at the end is an extension with the position of the kings. I'm not sure why yeah. that is. They have that, but um, okay. Uh, so you can see it's a queen rook bishop knight. Yeah, yeah, queen, yeah it goes down the down the value hierarchy. Mm. It's quite it's quite a clever thing actually, you know. Um, so I'll that's just... how it works. So so you know, it's a means of sort of if you want to search for study of a certain material balance, then you can work out what the GBR code is and stick it in. If you've got a database of studies, you can find you can find of that type. There might be a lot of them, but but you know, it, it's what that, that's the nature of it. Okay, so this is not a very difficult study, but it is quite elegant, I think. Anyway, um, <coughs> now, so white white as ever is going up the board, and black is going down the board. So black's pawn, black's king <coughs> is on um, h1, and his pawn's about to promote. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it's one to play and win, is it? Obviously. Yeah, because it's plus on the. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Plus means winning. Yeah. What's playing? Yeah. yeah. And and if the pawn queens, that won't be winning unless you've got a mate or something. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you the first move. Is it ninety four? It is. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, if if queens and not if two check forces the win of the queen, mm. so that might not be enough. What? Was it well? Well, well, queen and knight against two knights. Yeah. Well, we're living in a world of fantasy here. It's it, it's it's as well to be skeptical. I wasn't correcting. Oh no! Right. Okay. So one of the things <laughs> about studies is that that the. the, the um, the, 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 there's certain sort of idiosyncrasies. One, <laughs> the, the number of moves it takes to win a game is not constrained in the same way as over the board chess is to 50 moves. So if, if you have a position with, say, um, rook and bishop against two knights and it will take you 130 moves to win it, that's a win within the world of endgame studies. So just like I mentioned that. This, this isn't relevant to this, but that's generally the case. So you know, it's not it's not quite the same rules over the board chess in that sense. Um, so positions which you might not be able to win, but which are known to be won by computers, are won. You know, in, in terms of that is okay. Um, well, so black play. Well, what, what black wants to stop? Wants to threaten to promote. So he plays knight d. You know, plays knight d three. And now it doesn't work. So, how's White going to stop that promoting, or or find something that, that you know wins, but he does promote one and two? I'll get. I'll give you a few minutes. To think about that, chaps. I guess the uh, knight on h seven now springs to life, and probably is going to end up. Um, on h3 or something like that. Yeah. But, so you end up with the checkmate with nice. Idea, Danny, but yeah. we want the precise move order though. I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to sort of get an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, that's good yeah. thing. Knight yeah. yeah. five, queen, knight two. Yeah. That's right, by the way. Get the ideas and then work out the order. That's absolutely right. Good, good, good technique. Well, I don't know well, if it's well, okay. So, so the first thing is. Knight g5. Well, knight hg5. Okay, so after queens, how's that going to work? I think he's still <laughs> going to play knight f2 check. And then, yeah, from, okay. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can, he can he still do that? If you play knight f2 check, he can like take it and he queens anyway. Yeah. Draw. Black promotes, white's in check, isn't he? Yeah. Why don't you take the knight? Do what? That's a draw. Queen, queen, queen and knight is queen and two knights is, is a draw. Even with the queen on g1 and the king on g2. Well, it's check, isn't it, for a start? Oh, yeah, that's sneaky, that. You moved the knight. That was a bit naughty. Sorry? Which one? Well, the, the knight was on c5, stopping the check. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, yeah that's the point. You've got to you've got to stop the pawn from promoting. You, you know, you're not going yeah, to. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd missed the check. 
Mm. Let's check in there. Is it Queen E3? Good try. Have another go. Is that, doesn't that stop the pawn? Queen E3. Queen E3. I, I think it's Knight F2. I think it's Knight F2 check. It's not. It's, no, it's not. It's not. Sorry. You're no, not the, the other guys are closer. That's they just right. square. Queen E1. No. Gets taken. Is it Queen um is no, it Queen F2. F2? Queen F2, do you say, Colin? Well, I think I think we said it's at the same time, yeah. Correct. Okay. And if he queens now, then knight g3 check will win the queen. So he's, forced. So he's switched the check by moving his queen. He's forced to take. He's got to take it, yeah. G3. Yeah. And G and G5. Correct. Sugs fun. So uh, yeah. Tony yeah. said, uh, that's only said earlier. What if you if, if he moves the knight on h2, then knight f3 is mate, and he moves stop. the knight on f2, knight. No. I didn't see I didn't see that idea. I just sort of felt that knight had to come to f3 or, or to h3, but this is quite uh, quite pretty. Uh, from a geometric perspective, because whichever knight yeah, moves, yeah. Um, you know, allows it allows the mate. Yeah, yeah I, I, really, I really like it. Just imagine the, having this in an over the board game. How black would cope with this position? <laughs> well, you'd be doing, <laughs> to be fair, you would you do well to be if if you if you saw Queen F two in over the board game, you'd be doing well. But yeah, I know, but you, you know, mean, probably leave the venue and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's quite elegant. I mean, I, I it is, like... yeah. It, it's a nice finish, even without the queen sack, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've got to force the knights to those squares, and, that, and that's quite hard to do unless you do. Just, just run it, but run it back to the start, Mark, just for a quick resume. Okay, so. Okay, so okay, yeah. What, what, go. What, what's got to something about the pawn queening? So he goes there. So it's that. Give it queen. He says knight f two check will win the queen. Yeah, and and queen and knight against two knights is winning clearly. Um, so black stops that by coming knight d three. Yeah, and now knight, I mean, knight two check takes takes pawn pawn equals, you know, pawn equals queen is is drawn dead drawn. So um, so white plays queen f two, <coughs> such, such that for two reasons, such that if it queens now knight g three check. Yeah. Which is the mirror image of the other one with the queen on g3, knight on f2, with the queen, and um, and knight g3 mate is a big threat. So, so he takes it. Knight take knight g3 check, king there, and now. So so now, black black hasn't got a move apart from a knight move. He can't move his king. Obviously, his pawn's mm. blocked. He's now blocking his pawn. That's one of the nice things about this. All these pieces move into play during the course of the study. Yeah, apart from nice. the pawns there, but the king's moved in front of the pawn to stop that from doing anything. And the knight's on fourth of those players, so <coughs> one of the knights has one was there, but then knight g5. There's no there's no king or pawn moves, only a knight move, and each one. Or anywhere else, and um say over there. Just with me. Sorry. The, you know, I, I don't know. Wherever the knight goes, it's going to be mate. Whichever the knight moves, it's going to be mate on, on either square of h3 or f2. Uh, h3 or f3. Mm. So that's, uh, I think that's nice. Okay. Very not very uh, aesthetically pleasing, that is. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, I mean, if you ever want a nice to, symmetry, isn't it? If you want to get into end game study composer, I would start with Gurbich because he's, he's reasonably clear. It's a pity you can't shunt the whole position uh, to the left by uh, three or four files. Why? Well, it just looks even more aesthetically pleasing if the king was on, say, E1 or something. But it wouldn't be mate then, though, would it? No, I know, I know. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just telling you, in terms of the symmetry, that's what... Oh, I was yeah, thinking. yeah, yeah, no, indeed, yeah. Mm. Well, I think that's a nice study, so... Um, I'm, it, it, and it's a relatively simple one. They won't all be as simple as that, I'm afraid, now the rest of them. <laughs> Sorry about that, chaps. 
Right, let's try it. Let's try it. Load the next game. No. Just go no. Right, we have um I think it would have been mate if you'd shifted it across, but you couldn't have you couldn't have forced the king in front of the pawn if it had been close to no, the pawn. correct, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the thing, yeah. If, if I reckon if, this position is a Sam Lloyd puzzle and it's stalemate in eleven moves. <laughs> As you can see from the highlights, it's um <laughs> it, it's one Manuel Bayon Lopez, who's um, you know, he 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 was a I, I, I played a few years, three years, played at, at, in a congress in <coughs> Mallorca, and he played every time. He's married to um, Pia Cramling, they've got a daughter. Yeah. And he's a I, bit eccentric, um, uh, is, is, um, is one month old. He, 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 he sort of, he, he writes names in sort of square format, and then as he's playing, he colours in <coughs> blank bits. Um, yes. Very odd. Uh, but anyway, he's, um, he's, 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 still, he's still a good player, just not the player he was, of course. Who mm. is? But this His is daughter, yeah. When's, when's this? Ninety four. So, you know, quite a long time ago, really. Quite, you know. Um, so this is this is sort of quite theoretical up to a point, I believe. So I'm going to need somebody oh, else to, start to tell me if it, if it is or not. So he's played the uh, yeah. Okay. Slammy slam. <laughs> Hooray, Bishop G5. Let's go. Takes on C4. Marvellous. E4? Yeah. What's this, John Botvinnik, is this it? Is the, this is a Botvinnik uh, mm -hmm. semi-slav. Yeah. Is this going to be an Alatorso? Sorry? Is this going no, to no, be... 3, Bishop E7 is the Alatorso. No, not necessarily. <coughs> Well, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you, I'm afraid. Open three, not my long suit, but this is. Uh... Mm. So, this must be theoretical, I suppose. Up to yes, point. it is, yeah. Come oh, on. Gorgeous. I don't know about Queen B6. Is that a move? Anybody tell me? In various move orders. <laughs> so, he has that off. Yeah. And plays Bishop B2. That's, this is B, Bishop on B7. Why not? This doesn't. Yeah. A6. D five. Yeah, I think this and, is still uh, yeah. still theory five, probably. So that plays knight d seven. What plays knight d four? That plays c five. It's uh, so this is looking sharp, sharp, pretty sharp. sharp. Yeah, I mean, who knows what's happening here? So he plays knight c6. Oh. I mean, he needs to open the position. Nasty. Up. I think it's a bit stranded. So he played rook g8 here, which is slightly curious, but. Um, yes. He bishop h5. Threatening to take. So black took the, took the uh, bishop mm. and of course white recaptured the bishop, didn't he? Or did he? I doubt it. No. I quite fancy Bishop F7. Yeah, take, he didn't. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. yeah take yeah. D takes, then what happens, but probably insufficient, isn't it? What about D takes E6? D takes yeah. E6. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, why not? That's. Uh... Now, according to uh, my engine, which is what it, what's my engine? Castle Queenside. Castle Queenside is, is a small advantage for White. It looks suicidal to me, but what do you do? You know, he's, he's opened, opened up the A file. He's got anyway, but um, he played knight A five, which looks vaguely sensible coming to D three in some lines, covering F seven. You know, looks sensible. F four. No, he didn't do that. Um, it's probably a good move. I, I wouldn't like to say, but he played. It takes there. And bishop takes. So it's uh, queen d5. Yes. That plays rook a7 because he needs to cover um, f7. Yeah. But so you know it, it, it's it's still sharp. 
whites a piece down, but he's got, he's got good activity, but black, black piece is a bit inco in, you know, incoherent, but he's still a piece down, you know. Um, white took the shirt. The shirt, and black's got to play. <gasps> Right. So you went rook FD1, I think. Let me just make sure okay. that's right. Yeah. Can you see what it is yet? Yeah. So black played queen b6 to cover d8, d8 mate. So um, deflect the queen. So what's white's next move then? Well, it's deflect the queen. Yeah, that's not a move though. No, I know. <laughs> uh, rook a d no talking. <laughs> yeah, the arbiter's going to shush you, Gordon, I'm afraid. Yeah. David Sedgwick will come Wait, along. What did somebody say? Rook Sorry, a, 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 a I like Rook A6. James, Rook A6, yeah. Thank you. Rook takes. Queen takes his mate immediately. I can see it coming, yeah. Rook takes. Queen away, we just take it and then mate him. So he's got to play Rook takes. Mm -hmm. He did this, which is completely pointless. <laughs> That's what's known as a spike check. Spike check yeah. Yeah. It, stops, <laughs> it stops pawn takes f7 and pawn takes rook equals knight check. Well, true. It does. It's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. We've been doing too many Albin yeah. counter gambits. Yeah. yeah. Julian. So, um, Pontics, still. Still position. Still a, still a, still a, still a piece up, Black. E seven. Bishop takes pawn check. Who said that? Whoever In... said that, get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bishop f seven check. Mm. And if Mike takes f seven. Didn't I predict that a little while ago, Mark? No. You did, but not that time though. Not this. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the so queen D7 he mate. can't take it because Queen D7 is mate. So he's only got one move, right? Right. Decent. And now? F4. Queen <laughs> oh, no, queen sack. You've got to play. I don't think we've got time for F4. <laughs> no, queen D7. Queen D7. Queen D7, correct. Yeah, and then takes mate. Oh, yes. Mate, Knight takes, rook takes mate. Mm. It's uh, quite a nice mate, actually, I think. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So that was, I thought it was a nice <coughs> game. I mean, God knows whether it was, you know, sound or not, but it was uh, jolly exciting. It yeah. was, yeah. Rook A6 is a nice move to play, you know. I mean, when I lead you into it, but he has to, he had to have seen that before he played Rook F1. Queen and Knight down. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would just be a flat, you know, just be a flat queen if it takes. So uh, I thought it was quite a nice game. Mm. What's my next one? Mm. How did you find that one then? Uh, very good question. I'm glad you asked me that. That's okay. Out of a book. No, no, no. I can't remember. Oh dear. Probably on, probably out of chess games actually. I saw it on chess games somehow. Okay. I, but I, I can't be sure about that. I've got, I've, I have these thing studies and games which I put in little. <clears throat> um, what are they called? Those Moleskin books, you know, Moleskin books. Those, you know, mm. the, what, the what books, Mark? Yeah, the, the little black these these things. Yeah, that's your little black book, is it? I've got three of them actually. I'm to volume three now. Yeah. It's been dating a mole. There's there's, <laughs> there's there's some can there's some Very unhappy mole positions, but it's mostly games and studies that I like, you know. Mm. Uh, and I have Catholic taste, so you know, not people like everything I like, but there you go. You mentioned chess. You mentioned oh, chess games.com there, Mark. Do, do, you, do you look at the daily um the, the daily puzzles from I don't from, know from generally really? what I do every now and then I go and um search through um games collections pages for certain things. Right. right. Sometimes it chucks up games which you which I haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, but I don't do the puzzles, no. I, I do um I do the I do the chess.com what do you call it puzzle rush thing but you know yeah well, I'm not a member so it's just it's free yeah. you can do on chessgames.com there's a there's a daily puzzle and it gets harder from Monday through to Sunday oh, okay uh, 
Yeah, uh, you know, if you yeah, like, I've noticed on the front page. These are real games. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not oh, compounds yeah, yeah, yeah. or studies. They're, they're you know, they're what happened next, sort of, you know, from real games, and then, then you get lots of uh, kibitzing, you know, people suggesting their their ideas and giving the solution. And of course, you can look at the game to see what actually what was actually oh, played. Yeah. But sometimes, well, I should look at those because there's probably some nice games in there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of very good games, um, and, and, and 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 often the. You know the comments from the, you know, from the members on the kibitzing board it, 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 are far more instructive than actually seeing what happened in the game, because it because yeah. because it explains lots Why? of variations of what could have happened. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend that if you like looking at if you like looking at. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I've, I've seen it. I've thought passed it by, but I've never thought to think. Yeah, it's, that on the, it's on the front page of uh, chessgames.com. Yeah, no, I've noticed it because it's got yeah. the, the little. It's got the gold yeah. star thing, isn't it? I've just yeah. never looked at it other than yeah, worth a look. Yeah, we'll do you know, it. Mon Mon Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty pretty trivial, but you know, but if you're not good at solving puzzles, it's good practice, and then you work yourself up, work up gradually to the harder ones. I'm just very yeah. The games that there might be some nice tactics in games with myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's okay. a very good. I've just, I've just uh, unloaded it by mistake, chaps. While I'm going for the next game, so I apologise for that. Let's move on to try that again. There's a very good app on um, on uh, from the sort of Chess King group, which you can get on Android or um, on the sort of Apple Store called CT Art, and oh, about yeah. two thousand about two thousand uh, sort of uh, sort of combinations and puzzles and studies and things. So, what, what's what's the what's the app called there? Uh, it's called CT Art. What's the app? Okay. Uh, it's actually uh, it, that, that's what it's called. Um, I think it's a, a Chess King. Publish a lot of apps on at the Android store, so it's uh, put it up. Oh. Might see it or not. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. I think it's about four or five quid for the uh, for the actual sort of paid version, uh, but I think this one has about two thousand two thousand uh, combinations and studies in it. So. Okay. Yeah, I've been working through it for a couple of years, and I'm up to about um, where I'm up to now, fifteen thirty three. Out of 2058, so about three quarters of the way full through. So, yeah, wow, wow impressive. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, um, I presume you get a free version that's got billions of apps. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, um, I think like all of their apps, you get a free version to sort of try it and they unlock the lowest levels. Um, so you just get a feel for the application, how it works. And if you like it, then uh, you just sort of pay for it. So, yeah, and the beauty of it is, is you know, it works on an Android device. So if you've got several devices like a tablet and a phone or whatever. Uh, the one account is is uh, is synced across them all. Yeah. Thanks for that, Tony. Okay, I'm learning a lot tonight. That's good. Okay. Um, so this is um, I think his name is Misa. Uh, that he pronounced it several or something. And if you mm. if you notice, this is from the this is from the um, European Senior Championships in 2014. And Yevgeny Vashikov is black. If you met, and if you remember Evgeny Vashikov but from way back, but he was a very strong player, played some mm. nice games. Obviously, you know, people move on, they get older. Um, but uh, and Seblo was a decent player, but I think he's younger than that, nonetheless younger than Vashikov. So this is a game from that. It's a slightly unusual opening. Well, this is this isn't unusual, but. That's a bit odd. Yeah, that's on. That's um. That's a bit unusual. That one. So. Yeah, I've seen this line. This is theory. Mm. So this is like this is like Simon Williams playing the London system. Again. There's a completely mad line in this where you sack the exchange on a one. Okay, but, I don't, I don't, like I don't, in the Romford Gambit of the Grob, where you sack the exchange on a eight. So you're telling me this is theory now, are you? This looks familiar to me. Wow. That, that well, knight h6, knight f7. Louis Paulson used to play this in the Leningrad dance. Yeah, this, this looks familiar. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Or so he told me. Good old Louis. We go back a long way. Then he went on to um, X Factor, didn't he? After that. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Okay, so this is a bit odd. So he takes on f7, king takes. Yeah. It's all well, kicking it. off. And now he's got to come to f6 because um it's all over. 
If he goes, his, his best other movies, G8, were 96, 96. There's a night on the pitch. Yeah, it's a bit like a line of the Philidor, isn't it? The modern Philidor. I, I, if you say so. Yeah. I, I'll take your word. Yeah, there is, um, there is, a, there is the, uh, the Bishop, F, Bishop F7 line, which is similar to this. Six Bishop F7 check, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I was on the black side of it recently, so... Oh, right, OK. Well done. Take it, take everything and put the queen on g6. That's my top tip, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, John. So, well, then so, you, get, so, well, you can get into a position from uh, Wolfgang yeah. Heidenfeld, a game from Heidenfeld. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amazing so, game. Well, I think that of... plays a slightly dodgy move now, but he probably thought it was okay. Mark, is the idea if the king went to g8 and what was going to play knight e6, queen would have to go to e8 yeah, and then knight yeah. c7? Takes, takes e7, takes a8, and, and the knight's not getting not getting trapped unless you take <gasps> back to d8 and yeah. you're getting out, you know, mm. just winning. So this is forced, but, you know, it, it's not necessarily the end of the world. So, But he played e5 here, which I think is dodgy. It looks right, like Eve. Twice some bits back. Okay. Um, Ooh, what about 90? 90, 94 check. 90, 94 check, yeah. Well, well, either of the knights to weave. 987 well, check. Knight C, E4. Yeah, check. Knight C, yeah. Knight H7. So if, knight, if knight's D4 check, um, can we not go King E7? I'm actually wondering whether knight. Then, then there's two. Then there's two pieces on priest, so you're going to be. Involved. I play queen d5. Yeah, yeah there's a knight, queen, queen d5. Queen d5. Yeah. Oh, oh now, wow. Two, don't you? Pick on someone your own gr own grade, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Good spot, Julian. Good spot. I think that's a great move. I, I found that when I saw this game. I found it so. Wow. I'm showing it now, but as a game, I mean, it's an extraordinary move. So All right then, C takes D5. Knight takes D5 is mate. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Where are you going to put the king? <laughs> Let's just show it. <laughs> yeah, it is mate. For viewers at home only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For those watching in colour, the knight is in white. <laughs> I mean, it's John, you'll, you'll probably have to explain that uh, that joke to virtually everybody on this call. You know? I won't. You oh know yes, what you know what I'm they, talking about. They won't. They wait. They won't it's have known about black and white so. television. Yeah. So, Wasn't this, um, is so this a William a Rex Williams reference? Mm -hmm. I can't remember now. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it, I'm talking. It's yeah. from an episode of Pop. No, it's from, it's from Ted Lowe. Right. No talking. Yeah. No talking. Oh, sorry. For those of you know Ben, I'll come back to Ben Feingold later. Actually, if it's anybody watch Ben Feingold's videos at all, apart from myself, I do. I watch them yes. already. I think they're brilliant. Yeah. It's better than Rowan and Martin's laughing. Yeah, <laughs> right. You have, to, you have to get used to a sense of humour, but it is yeah. Anyway, so mates threatened on e6 and f7. So, um, so you're going to play then? How are you going to stop that then, chaps? Queen uh, e7. Queen on e7. Queen e7. Okay. What about what about knight b6 instead? It doesn't stop queen f7, mate. Not queen f7 mate. But it doesn't stop that, does it? No. no. So, um, queen e7. Mm. Stick a knight and e4. Well, it's, I'll give you a clue. It's mate in knight, knight h7 and bishop yeah. g5. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Resigns. Knight 7 mm. Yeah. And as, as Jim said, well, bishop g5 bishop. Bishop mate. Nice. Very um, nice. Yeah. Very nice. I mean, it was a great spot, Julian. Queen d5 is, is just, just phenomenal. Unbelievable. I'm sure Vasyukov was appreciative. It's I think Vasyukov. He barely cheesed off, actually, I thought, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't, didn't like his opening, though. <laughs> He, he, no, but he, but you know, he's a, he was a class, a world class player, you know. Oh, definitely, yeah. Mm. You know, in the Russian Olympiad teams and stuff, and, and um, famously oh. beat Carpov in a very good game. Did he? Yeah. Okay, the next um, position is a study, um, a joint study between uh, Alexander Herbsman oh. and uh, 
Korolkov. Korolkov. Korolkov is is a very sort of eccentric composer, and Hersman is just a bit more more um, straightforward. It's a slightly odd pairing. Anyway, this is a slightly unusual position, um, but. Oh, it must be a bit unusual to have compositions as a result of two composers. It, you wonder, it, it, you wonder how they actually make it happen. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's, there's a guy who appeared a few years ago called Stefan Nilsson of Davis, yes. and he's a fantastic study composer. And he's done a lot recently with with a German composer called Martin Minsky. And I don't really know how that works. I don't mm -hmm. know. How but isn't that like, say, Gilbert and Sullivan or, you know... It, well, not really, just yeah. because one of them did the music and one of them did the lyrics, didn't they? Yeah, yes. they collaborated. <laughs> it was a collaboration. Yeah. Yes, John. Yeah. But, 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 you know, there must be, I don't know, one must be ideas, one must be construction. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, oh, interesting. I mean, it's not that frequent, but it happens more than you might think. But, um, yeah. Anyway. If you look so, in... The problem with this is that, that um, uh, perhaps going to be queening and might can't stop it. Damn. Well, what have you bothered showing us it? But Black's yeah. king, but Blank's, Black's king position is suspicious. It's very suspicious. So that's I've noticed that. Well, this is good. To, so well, notice, spotted, John. Notice the topography, the lie of the land, and the basic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but Black's king position is very suspicious. So we need a piece that works along files to get to the A file. Well, you can play knight f6, knight e4, knight c5. Uh, yeah, the, the idea is right. That doesn't quite work, but we'll Just ma mate with a knight. Yeah. In a minute. Knight f8. The idea, the idea is right. Mm. It's the timing and the execution. Mm. Uh, knight f8. So even though it's wrong, it was certainly. F8, so... By the way, we, we, we'll play this through. I mean, you know, it's not. It's not a classic study, but it's a pretty nice study. And this got fourth honourable mention in the tourney. You wonder what 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 the what the what the, what the other ones were, you know, but well, the winners were. But they they mentioned this one in passing. Quite yeah. a good effort. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Do better next time. Okay, <laughs> why it goes knight f same idea, Julian, but knight f eight. Yeah, and then e six, and then c seven. B two. Knight e six. That's not enough. Queens. Yeah, but you, do you play something like um, promote to a queen now? Yeah, yes, you promote the pawn. Mm. And then you've got knight c5. Yeah. And, it, and if bishop takes queen, knight c5, knight d7, knight c5 is... Yeah, perpetual check. Yeah. And if, if it plays a move like bishop c5, then you've got queen h5 as mate. Queen Correct. a5 as mate, yeah. Correct. So what else has black got then? Oh, queen wow. takes knight. Queen takes knight. And there it goes. I've gone blind now. Um, um, you, you thought is it queen takes bishop here? You thought the queen on d8 was checking the king on b8. Yes, I did. <laughs> I could <laughs> tell that, you know. It's not queen oh. takes bishop. Right, okay. <laughs> ah, yeah. I need yeah, a holiday. Right, right, right. Oh, Julian's correct. How does it work, Julian? He's the always correct. Uh, I can't, can't see the wrong stalemate. Wrong. Mm. You can't. Yeah. Um, okay. Not a stalemate. Oh, you're right. I'll is it play it anyway. So queen takes b Queen takes bishop. Obviously, queen takes you've queen. got to take it with the queen, otherwise, all takes queen and white's winning. So, what's white's next move then? Well, he's only got one move. Correct. Oh, you've got two moves. Two moves. That's two. Got King c8, is it? Correct. But he's got three moves, actually. And that's um, that's Volkswagen. That's he can't put his queen anywhere. Correct. Oh, great. Nice, right? <laughs> oh, I wow. love it. I also hate it. Yeah. It's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> so it's, it's not brilliant, but it's nice, though, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> quite... There's somebody conjured that <laughs> like that. That's ridiculous. It's I, I, love, I love my favorite movie is King C8. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't. Oh, no, Queen D6 still, mate, is brilliant. Yeah. That... It is pleasing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, what happens on Queen C5? You huff it. We'll have some of that. That's a new move. 
New variation. Vortex Queen. Vortex Queen, yeah. Yeah, B4. B6. Yeah, B3. Oh, hang, on. Um, hang on, what's got a move? Yeah, after D6. Well, that's well, not necessarily White move. Queen's first. D6. One, oh, one. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it even matters if white white queen's first because you can't stop white playing queen d6 check. If it's not good for black, is it? No. It was a try. Yeah, yeah, it's I just white. wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, like it's a pawn up for half a play. I'm not, I'm not saying this is this, this is this is new, by the way, but. Okay, sorry. I wanted to look at it. It wasn't totally clear to me what was going on here. No, no, but that, but that. <coughs> yeah, yeah, agreed. Great. Yeah. Uh, um. It's Queen C6 and various other things, they all lose. So right. I think I, I, I just like, um, I mean, the, 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 the repeated check, perpetual check thing is quite obvious, but the king's, the way you play it, play Queen takes B6 and then, kings, and then King C8, which is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really slow yeah. motion, isn't it? It's yeah. Slow motion, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, so black couldn't take on b6 with the pawn, could he? Um, because I because if he plays well, stalemate, yeah, don't forget white's trying to draw, right? Um, oh, yeah, the pawn's gonna <laughs> queen, the pawn's gonna queen, and it's stalemate. Okay. Well, black, has no move. black has no move here, does he? No, that's black, true, it's black to move. <laughs> No, okay. Point taken. Yeah. It's an unusual Irish pawn centre as well. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, an, an Irish queen side, but yeah. <laughs> Although we're, we're probably not allowed to say no, that. Anymore. It's not a brilliant study, but I quite like it, you know. Oh. Like, mm. There's some surprising moves in it, and, and, and King G8 I like in particular. I've done it again. I've closed it down again. What a, what a numpty. Just have it. It's just, yeah, it's, just it's, what, it's what nuns have. Oh, wait, where are we there? So when does Reading resume, Jim? Uh, well, I mean, we're we're having sort of ordinary club nights at the moment at, at the Hope Centre, New Hope Centre. Yeah, um, I mean, well, I've been to one of them, and there were six of us. But I mean, it was. It was pre sort of, yeah, it was usually fairly few of us in the summer anyway. Mm. Um, and Vtex basically sent out a sort of email to see who's available to play league games and got to try and work out what's happening in terms of the venue and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, so okay. basically, I don't know at the moment, but we are trying to establish what's happening. Fair enough. Thanks. Hi, how old? This is a real game. Oh, yeah, Jonathan Levitt. Jonathan Levitt is black. Helvi Olafsson is the Icelandic uh, GM. Interesting, yeah. interesting enough, uh, I've invited Jonathan to appear at some point to oh, be right. the host of a Zoom call. Well, let's hope he doesn't see this game then. Well, exactly, yeah. But, it, you know, he's a big... Uh, he's very much into these problems and studies and stuff. Yeah, indeed, yeah. I have his book, Secrets of Spectacular Chess, as not Yeah, with David... David Freaker, co-authored with Freaker. Yeah. Yeah. I wish David Freaker would come on. Well, so do I. So I might invite him actually, James. I'd like to say a few things to him. Okay, do you want to see the game? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. This is an unusual. I mean, this is basically Black's playing a hedgehog when he plays 94, which is not a usual move. Mm. It's an unusual it's hedgehog. It's not what you do with a hedgehog, you know, if you're playing a hedgehog, so. Yeah. A bit more of Queen's Indian than a hedgehog? Or... Yeah, it is now, yeah. But it was a hedgehog. If he... <clears throat> played... which, he which hedgehog used to live in Luton Airport? Spiny Norman. Spiny Norman, correct. <laughs> <laughs> I feel ashamed to know that. I hope nobody... Needs an explanation oh, for that. In this position, white plays rook fd1. What, what? Right. Plays D8. All, all look sensible. Queen e3. Queen b7. 
which are D6. Yes. But the B pawn goes. Oh, okay. This might be unwise. So white goes rook fd1 and black goes back to b7 to protect his bishop. Now, what I was saying, what would you say about this position in terms of compensation for the pawn? Uh, insufficient. Yeah. The, the real problem is where are the pawn breaks? So the only pawn break that's looking likely is to play f4 and f5, yeah. which is pretty loosening and, you know, isn't going to be, is going to be too slow and loosening with his own king. Um, there's not there's insufficient comp. Yeah. And there's okay. pr defile would, pressure. What would you play in this position as white then? We can take c5. Yeah. I yeah. think you want I reckon you want me to play queen e4, Mark. No, no. <laughs> queen you, takes you, c5. It, John. It. Yeah, queen takes c5. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You're, temp <laughs> you're tempting me. He doesn't play queen takes c5. I think you're giving black a tempo with knight e6 and then bringing the other rook into play. Yeah, correct. I think that's got quite a good position there, actually. Because white's got weak pawns and weak pawns yeah, and c5 right. as well, then. Mm. Hang on, say that. He's again. unraveling. You know, at the moment, he's, not, he's, he's still behind in development. He's got, he's, it's going to be a bit awkward to unravel. Yeah. So for example, knight a6, rook takes, then queen e4, possibly, you know. Doesn't quite work, especially f3, but... No, can it does you play, work. Can you play queen g5? Uh, that's not what he played. Okay, let's go knight Well, I bet he's been kicking himself ever since G2, he didn't yeah. play it. Quite possibly. Yeah. Queen F4. Yeah, this is, this is I mean, probably I would play Queen F4 myself. I, I agree with that. It's not the movie played because he's a grandmaster. I'm... I'm trying to make something stupid like rookie six work. Are you? Yeah. Well, that's the right move. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you run your luck, John. Well, <laughs> I've, I've had, I have had a pint of Doom Bar, so that helps. So... The more alcohol you can have, the, the stronger you can get. Now you play Night G5. Yes, correct. That was the idea, Julian, yeah, yeah. And, and what, now, what, what does he do if bishop takes bishop? Queen takes e6. Yeah, it? check. And threatening it takes, threatening mate on, on d8. Other mate on, f, on, on f7. Mm, yeah, clever stuff. Oh, tough luck, let's live it. Sorry? Tough luck. Yeah. I mean, it's a great move, Ricky. So you've got to see the follow-up. Um, I mean, it's not necessarily absolutely winning, but it looks fantastic, you know. Um, I'd be ha I'd be happy with this with white. Yeah. What's black going to do now? So black played h6, so that he's got a get out. He hasn't got the smothered mace not anymore. Uh, now he takes e4. Yeah, correct. However, um, and, and and another Ben Ben Feingoldism is always sack the exchange, which is not one of his better ones, but still, you know, white has that. <laughs> what? Why not bishop takes e4 there? But... Yeah. Mm. Bishop uh, takes e4 uh, looks very strong. Yeah, well, d5 got, could be a bit of a pain. D5, yeah. d5, isn't he? Yeah, there's, well, two yeah. on. there's two pieces on there. Well, well not You're really, because really the, the d5 pawn's pinned. Mm. Yeah, but uh, you looked at with two pieces on, please. Yeah, I think knight takes is better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, knight e4, if the idea of knight f6 looks quite good. Mm. Yeah, I think knight e4 is the right move. Well, d can I, sorry to interrupt, it could just unwind. After bishop takes c4, d5, bishop uh, bishop h7 check. Uh, you said what well, you said you're going to play d5 here, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop d, yeah, could work. But after, after d5, queen, queen, takes, uh, queen takes e4. No, I was, I was looking at. Um, Say we play d5, would you want to play? No, yeah, just play bishop h7 check. I'm not saying this is the right move, by the way. I'm yeah. not anyway, it's this, but if bishop h7 checks. Or even knight takes c6. Yeah. Well, which we, what should we be playing? Well, okay, go. let's look at bishop h7 then. Yeah, not, not king f8, probably. Well, you still got, yeah. Well, you, well, yeah. Well, you still got lots of bits on, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, King F8, Queen F4 is probably quite good, isn't it? Well, well, Knight F7 check followed by Knight D takes D8 restores the material balance, doesn't it? Queen takes Knight. Oh, I beg your pardon, missed that. Mm. Not clear, I think. Uh, yeah, I think well, Queen takes Knight. Knight. Okay. Not clear, not clear. Okay. The, the GM decided to play Knight takes E4. Yeah, fair enough, I just wanted to know why. Well, the, a point it's, eight six. it's not clear, is it? Whereas knight e4 is a nice clean. Clean threat. Pawn on h6. Hang on, h6. Knight it's is. a pawn on h. There we go. Knight e4. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Calm down. <laughs> knight c6. It's only a advert. Knight takes c5. So they got c5 in the end. Black has started to unravel here, though, but still, White's got, you know, reasonable compensation, I think, here. What did he play now, White? Knight takes e6. Close. It's legal. Rook takes d7? No, maybe not. What did you say, Julian? I think, I think Rook takes d7 does work. You got to follow up with Queen e6. Oh, Queen e6. Something takes d7. Have another go. Or Knight takes d7? Yeah. Of course. This is still quite messy. <coughs> um, now, he can't take it because... Queen takes a 6 check. And the crowd are loving it. Loving, loving. Oh, no, sorry, we don't do that. We play, push, we play rook d7, don't we? Mm. And uh, it goes there. Pin the, pin the rook. So we come Excellent in. On these. Ooh. And it's game over. Yeah, that's... So you can't take it. That's awkward. Yeah. So he goes... Look at the 8 And the white has the call off. So a general principle works in pretty well here, I would say. But, you know, general principle is one thing. And now he played bishop e4 because he's tooling up for queen g6 or queen f5 or something. Yeah. Uh, and now black played knight e7, which is yeah. an interesting move. Curious. Curious, yeah. I he's mean, trying to trade some bits off, isn't he? There are some tactics, but um, rook e8 is the move which, he, which starts to get difficult. White is winning, but he has to find a precise line. That was it. So I'm not going to show that at the moment, but let's go back to the other line. So he plays knight e7, which is all sorts of wrong to me. Um, but obviously... Um, he's just trying to trade yeah. things off, isn't he? Well, rook e8, and then you know, he's going to go take the bishop, yeah? Yeah. So he gets rid of the dangerous bishop. Yeah. So white plays rook d6 instead. Ooh. So if that's got queen takes c4, he's probably got to do that. And then we have queen takes knight. And now I've got to remind myself what uh, what he played. Rook e8. Well, presumably so black was in. He didn't do that, and I want. He, to well, I think he was intending that, wasn't he? Well, rook h6 is coming. Rook h6. Yeah, I was just back to. Rook, yeah, rook, rook h6 exactly. Yeah. 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 That's probably what he missed when he I played so, knight, yeah. knight e7. I think so, yeah. I think yeah. so. Queen c1 I mean, check. It is still losing, but it's there's a more complicated line than this. But, but mm. white has to find. So he gives a check. Mm. Oh, defending h6, that's clever. Mm. Right. And now he's covering h6, so rook h6 doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Black's being resourceful here. He is. Uh, mm. So white played queen f7. Mm. Okay. Oh. And black had the, had, the, had the rook off. Okay, so the mate on h7 goes away. And white played. Yes. It's not, it's not an immediate win, but it, but it is. Uh, really. Rook g6? Yeah, correct, Julian. Mm. Very good. Yeah. And at this point, that gave up. The Levitt resigned. Because if you try and cover um, 
But rook g8, you've got knight f6, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You could play queen c3, but you still want knight f6. Yeah. But then you got your rook eight. Oh, wait a minute. You have still knight f6. The bishop's gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very good game, wasn't it? Yeah, a very good game, yeah. Yeah, nice game. I mean, I think that's nice. There's, there's, there's some tricky moves in that. But, I mean, rookie six, that, I mean, the shock value must have been huge, right? Yeah, and he must have seen yeah. all of this when he played it. Yeah, completely, yeah. Well, if Blair plays well of course, I saw this whole line, Mark, when I suggested rookie six. <laughs> yeah, indeed. yeah, yeah. Well, if Black plays queen takes knight... Mm. Yeah, you're, ne you're, you're never going to survive that. Those rooks look a bit disconnected. So, for example, yeah. pawn takes rook, queen takes pawn check. Queen We're going to pick yeah. one of those rooks off. Sure. Yeah, you can <laughs> first, the, pick the off E4 rooks. E4 yeah. rooks going first. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 either if you, if you play king j, g7 and if you play king j, queen f5. Oh, you could have played yeah. rook h6 instead of queen f uh, I mean, No, sorry. No, 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 no. Mm. This is winning for yeah, He's going to pick the rook up, isn't he? One of the rooks. Yeah. yeah. He's got a two. Mm. I mean, once you once your rook's disconnected in this sort of position, you, you, you're, you're you're a dead man most of the time. Mm. But you're very very lucky. You know, Daniel King's adage: split rooks are not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, right. especially it's the queen and a bear king. It's, it's the bear king thing. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I thought it was a game. Spectacular game that was. Yeah, mm. I, I mean, rookie six is just one of my favourite moves of all time. It's just such a yeah, so unlikely, you know. Mm. Well done, Mr. Yeah, Arthur. Come on, I just mean, know what you, what you thought about that game. At what point he, if he's seen Rookie Six or not? He well, might uh, I'm sure he will go through that with great pleasure. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't mention it to him unless he brings it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not in his book, Secrets of Spectacular Chess. No. <laughs> Is it not? Okay. No, I don't think. I don't, I'll, I'll leave it's not. Right? It should be. <laughs> It's not in his book, Contemplating Comedy. I know that, because I've got it. Do what? Are you good? Well, Jonathan's got a new book out called Contemplating Comedy. Oh, really? Okay. John. Yes, Attempting yes. to review, but I, I have to stop laughing. It's not about chess, presumably? No. Right. I thought he hasn't seen any of my games, obviously. So, um... Yeah. This is... Um, this is Millman... Not Milkman, but Millman against Joseph Fang in the Foxwood op Open in 2005. And there's a few Ben Feingoldisms in this for those who are aficionados of Ben Feingold videos. Does C4 get played? Uh, it doesn't actually, but there's other things. Okay. So, so Colin will be expert on this line because he plays it. I don't know anybody else who does. Well, so do I. You play the Caro Can? Oh, okay. Yeah, with black only. Oh, right. Yeah. Spassky's idea, H4. And contrary to popular belief, H5 is not to hassle the bishop. Mm. It's to achieve a preferential ending. So if you play this position with black, do not trade the dark square bishops off. Because? Because, because the ending will be, with that pawn on H5, um, if you imagine that f7 pawn not there, you have to trade the black squared bishop, then, then you've got a really you have to awful, the white squared bishop, so. awful bishop. Right. Yeah, it's a really terrible ending for black. It means the black squared bishop, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't trade those off. So, so I'm looking for Colin to tell me what's um, what's theory and what's not. This all looks he's, like theory to me. Bishop b4, e6 is the main move, knight f6, queen c7. Well, I've, been, I've, seen, I've seen a Spanish player play in uh, some Yorker tournament. Uh, I'm not sure why, though, but there's a reason for it. He won the game. What? The what? Uh, this is, this is subtly different to the main line where the knight's on f6 instead of on d6. <clears throat> well, it's there, it's there now. But it's what? now transposed. Yeah. yeah. So this is, you know, black's ripe for a minority attack. Now, this, this is... If you want to transpose, you can play things like c4. That will be transposing to the line where white's played bishop e4 check, losing the tempo, and you play c3 losing the tempo. Yeah, so correct. If white plays c4, black plays b5. That's right. Yeah, but you play c. Okay, all right. It, it, whatever. But that's that's the, that's the main line, though, isn't it? That's a main line. 
Yeah, uh -huh. I, I always play queen a5 in this line. Okay. Yeah. So, so everybody plays the Karakani. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Apart from me, obviously. Yeah, yeah I play. Yeah, you know, I think. Well, it's it refutes e four. That's why. <laughs> that's a little. That's a top secret, by the way. Don't mention it anywhere. Okay, so White's next move is d five. Why not? So <clears> that, <throat> that takes it, and and now White plays Ben Feingold's favourite move. John, what's Ben Feingold's favourite move? Well, I'd say C4 on the grounds it's explosive. No, that, that's, that's explosive. What's his favourite move? Knight F5. Knife F5. Well, no, knife F5. Knife, knife, knife F5, five. it is actually. Knife 5. Knife F5. No, it's just knife, knife five. 5. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And... Uh, so H6 is under a little bit of pressure. It is. As is E7. So back plays Bishop F6. Seems reasonable. Yes. White plays rook d5. Oh. That plays big. queen e6, hitting the rook. Yeah. Well, we could go. What, rook. Would, you, what would you play here? Rook d6 is legal, but it loses the knight. Rook d well, do what? I, I would play rook from h1 to d1. Mm. That looks very normal. Yeah. So we're looking for a move that isn't normal. Bishop well, D6. It's normal in some sense. Yeah. Bishop D6. Well, I think hit, take take on H6 was something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, black right, right. right. six. Yeah. It's got to because there's a looseness on the F6 square. After Rook D7, there's a loose, you yeah. know. Yeah. So, so black plays knight E5 here. Yeah. That's and probably what he was relying on, that, I would think. It was. White plays queen e4. Mm. White plays knight c6. White plays queen f3. White yeah. plays knight e5. <coughs> Offering a draw. Always repeat. That's not a Ben Feingoldism. Well, you get nearer to the time control. Yeah. Except so you don't anymore. So, so, so Black Red beats <laughs> expecting a draw. White plays Queen G4. Sacking a tower. Sacking, yes, a tower. A tower or an elephant. Mm. So, didn't he play um, that in the so first? Black has it off. So that's a rook. <laughs> that has it off. This is this had better be good, chaps. This is better. How be rude good. that is. Yeah. Well, we can take and play H6, can't we? Well, we can certainly we can certainly take. Yeah. Uh, black played queen d3 check, white played king a1. One of the things that you have to think about here, and we'll come back to the main one in a minute, um, but if black plays queen takes f5, for example, queen takes, bishop takes, bishop. So he's got, um, okay, white's well, got pawns, but he's got, he's got a rook and two pieces. Uh, but How good is that h pawn? It's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, ouch, ouch. We're, we're coming right. to get you. Yeah. Because the bishop's got, bishop's got no no squares to go to. You know, really. Ouch. Yeah. Force line. Yeah. yeah. So that's nice. But you have to consider that because, you know, otherwise, you know, that, that doesn't work. You're not really, this whole thing doesn't work. Okay. So, um, what else has Black got? Well, he played knight e5. Yeah. That's the only move, isn't it, really? Yeah. But okay, Bishop, Bishop takes. Oh, I see. Well, the, the queen's oh, under okay. attack, so maybe we do play Bishop F. <laughs> um, uh, no, you can play H six. H six. Yeah, and the crowd are loving it. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He didn't play that actually. But um, gold coins have appeared. Well, there, there will be gold coins appearing, but H six. Uh, it's interesting. H six. I've not looked at that. Does that work? Does it work? H6, knight takes g4, h7. Mate. No, I can see that, but is there, is there, is there another refutation though? Well, you can't take the bishop. Knight g6 doesn't work. Okay, interesting. That's interesting. That's an interesting question. 
So what's wrong with it? Let's have a look. Okay. Can we go back to the sort of some sort of Queen F? Why should there be anything wrong with it? Yeah, you could just play Bishop F6. Because so you didn't play it, you played a different move. It may just be an alternative win, though. Uh, exactly. I'll tell you what you played, shall I? 97 check. Correct. Thank you, Phil. That's that. The Basingstoke jury has voted. Mm. So, <laughs> so if, he, if he takes the knight, then Bishop takes knight check and mate on g7. Live in Basingstoke. Thought you lived in Oak Street. Well, you know, he's got to play queen g6. It's pretty hopeless. King h7. He's got any move. Yeah. King h7, yeah. So what now? We've got bits on pre bits on pre um, here. Does Queen G6 uh, work? Queen Queen G6 G6 work? work. <laughs> I, I don't know. Does it, how, how does it work? Yeah. It is a check. Uh, the, the, the thing is, Bishop on H7, Bishop on G7 is hanging at the end of it. G7. Yeah. It is mate. Yeah. I think. No, because. Um, I don't want everybody okay, thinking. I want, I, want, I want analysis here, guys. I want no, the Queen G6. Pawn take. Pawn take. Tell me the whole line. Queen G6 check. Pawn takes queen. Pawn takes pawn. King oh, takes G7. Rook H7. Thank you, Julian. Yeah. Wow. There's no oh. substitute for calculation. Who said that? <laughs> you did just then. I just said it. Yeah. 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 That's no, remarkable. Yeah. Calcul calculate, don't speculate. Who said that? No idea. Nor do I. No, I, know, I, know that, I know, do you know that Daniel King said the uh, the, the, the secret to good end game, en, good end game technique, good end game technique is good calculation. Mm. So I think that's really nice. I don't think it's much of a secret. <laughs> not, not, oh, not no, anymore. but but you say that though. But you, you look at some you look at some games. It looks like it's inevitable. Mm. What you don't see is all the stuff under the surface. You know. Yeah. If you look at a lot of uh, Karpov end games, I mean, he'll play um, sort of very defensively, very prophylactically. Uh, through the middle game in this end game, all of a sudden, sort of black mm. appears to get counterplay, but it's never ever enough. Mm. And that, that's only going to work if you've calculated those possibilities. Mm. And uh, yeah, and sort of, sh and sort of yeah, I've, I've never yeah. understood any of Karpov games apart from when he sacrificed the queen at one time. Mm. Right. <laughs> I understood that. But Joseph Fang got well and he, he does stuff and then he wins. You know, how does that mm. work? So Joseph Fang, you know, I mean, Joseph Fang's 23 22, he's a decent player. Milman's a GM, you know. He got well and truly bitten there, didn't he? He did. He <laughs> did. I see what you did there, Phil. Actually, he was also was a part of a attack. He was a part-time dentist as well. So that's a nice game, right? I think that's very good. Really very, very elegant. Game. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> very good. Now, next, so that's two games. Next, we have a study, I think. Okay, this is um. Alan Dadza, who's a Georgian composer. This, this again, this is, a, I think this is a pretty good study, and this was second prize winner. The number of my, my favourite studies, which are second prize winners, and every now and then I go and look at the first prize winners, I think that's nowhere near as good as second prize winner, mm. but it's about the taste of the judges and, you know, things like that. Mm. What's in at the time. There are stylistic things as well. This is, this <clears> is from a Russian chess magazine that was a Beatles song. Help. No. Chess in the USSR. In the SSSR, yeah. Okay, um, this is what. So let, let's just let's just take in the lie of the land. I must stop these jokes. This is a complicated position. Don't forget, white's going up the board. So, um, so black's black's pawn is is uh, on the edge of promotion. White's pawn is can either take on g7 or play h7, and he's got pawn on b7. So this is a horrendously complicated tactical position. Who is it to move? Always white. It's generally always white. Yeah, generally. There's a few exceptions. Like <coughs> 0 0.01% is black and the rest of the white to play and win in studies. So this, um, this is a bit of a mind crusher, this one. This, this, is, this is a mind crusher, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want this short of time or even not short of time. Uh, yeah. um, I mean, this is very hard, I think. Mm. So I'm going to take you through a few moves, then you can find the other moves. You can't. If you solve this in the beginning, you're you're um you're you're too good to be watching my 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 my, my thing. So, mm. so white plays h seven. Okay. And black plays rook h four check. Yeah. Why does black play rook h four check? That's cheeky. 
he plays it. So when he moves his rook away, White hasn't got king h7. Well, no. mm. So that's why he plays it. Yeah. But it's, it's a tempo thing. Mm. So black plays rook b1. Why black plays rook b1, we'll see in a minute. Rather than any yeah. other move away from the h file. Yeah. No, no, it has to be rook b1. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. So queening is um, on the cards. It's, it's in there, isn't it? So white plays rook c rook a2 check. King takes rook c2 check. So if the king's not on b1, he'll pick up that pawn and then queen. That'll be winning. Okay. So rook the b2. point about the rook on b1 is you can play rook b2. And now you can't take, take that because it's, it's check and you pick up that one and win. So white plays rook there. And black <coughs> follows him. Draw? He's droll. However, the stipulation, as you may have noticed, because it's the plus up there, is white to play and win. Or as I used to say, yeah, rebel. Rook, H, rook H1. Correct, Tony. Very good. Who, who used to say Remy when offering a draw? Uh, lots of people. Most French people. Really European, I think. <laughs> yeah. And now you've got H8 equals queen. Mm. We have. Yeah. But I don't think it's over yet, yeah, is it? Because you've got... Um, all right. So now we can't get off the we can't get off the eight file. So the queen well, at the eight. Gives it a check, hoping for the best. That plays king b two. It's important where that king that's king is. You'll see in a minute. What's yeah. white's next move here? Now queen h one. Correct. You're on five. You know this study, Tony. Just I've, been, I've been, doing, been doing a lot of studies recently out of that CTR. I've solved all those combinations and understood. So we've had the rook on h1. Now, now we're queen of the pawn and putting the queen on h1. Yeah. And now, G, now b7. Now b7. And the point, <laughs> being, the point being, you, you've got to try and queen the pawn, otherwise you're going to be losing. Mm. But that, but you but you um what have I done? Was that, is that oh, you moved the rook and then you queen with check oh, and this, take the pawn. Correct. The point is you'll check the is check because the things on the b file and, and you'll mm. And and that's you know you and I might struggle to win that, but that's a win in 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 um in in in, in game study land and grandma mm. land. Yeah. So that's that. That's rather lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, there's some quite inter interesting sort of variations leading up to that, though, Mark, because that was just the main line, wasn't it? What do you mean? Uh, was there was there any interesting sidelines that don't quite work? Or? Um, not so much, but which maybe what I was saying. <coughs> But um, the thing about it is it's shock value, you know. I mean, first of all, we'll give you H4 check as a defensive mechanism, mm. which, which is not completely beyond the pale, but, you know. Then you then Black has to appreciate that White's threatening Rook A2 check and Rook C2 check, so he needs to be able to interpose. And then you've got to see Rook H1. And then you've got to see queen h1. Mm. And then you've got to see that, you're, that the king is now on the b file and the pawn is on h2. I mean, that's quite an intricate... Um, there aren't very many side variations, I agree, but it's an incredible achievement, I think. I mean, not yet to get two sacrifices on the same square. Is, is By the way, unusual. What, yeah. what I have done with this, I, I, there's another few studies I was going to put in, but I've avoided lots of studies with too many side variations because it's too hard to start showing them. Yeah. There's some where... The side variation is longer than the main variation. It's incredibly complicated, but it's not showing the... the Studies don't show the most difficult line. They show the elegant line. The most difficult lines they show as well, but they're side lines rather than the main line. The fact it takes longer is neither here nor there. It doesn't have... The main line has the elegance, the idea, you know. So anyway, um, may, anybody like that? Just me, okay? No, no, no. no, no That's really, really in, very good. Very, very. Yeah, very, very. Yeah, Cal Callan Daz has done quite, quite a few nice rook end games, like double rook and uh, single rook end games, like that, actually, um, as well as other things. But he's I, famous for his rook end games. I'd like say that was the most, the hardest one so far. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. But I've got a harder one though. Okay. Well, just in case you were getting complacent, you know. Is it the starting position? <laughs> no. Um, it always makes me laugh when people say, oh, I had a draw at one point. I'm thinking, well, you had a draw move one. What's that got to do yep. with anything, you know? Only at one point is, would be yeah. my criticism. 
So um, the, the next game, you, a lot of you may have seen, some of you won't have seen. It's a recent game on the World Cup. I like the, the first name of this guy. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's, a, it's actually, it's interesting, actually. It's spelled M-A-D-S, but it's pronounced Mad or Matt. They don't pronounce the S. I, I, it, um, His anyway, first uh, name is actually M-A-D. It's M-A-D-S. Oh, right. I was trying to think of the, the actor. Mads Madsen. Yeah. Who? Who oh, you think? Played, uh, did he play? Uh, I'm trying to think of the... Uh, the is he, is he American? Yeah. No, it's Danish. OK. <coughs> no, not this player, the, 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 the actor. Yeah, Danish. Mm. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. Sorry. He played a I villain think... in uh, James Bond. Did he? OK. Yeah, with a funny eye. The funny eye? Oh, I must have missed that. Casino Royal. Yeah. Yeah. The what, chief. What, what the, the Daniel Craig one? Yes. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, not not the David Niven one. Yeah. Well, there's there's other Casino Royals, aren't there? Yeah, oh, is yeah. that, okay. Right. So this is from the um this from the World Cup. It is quite a well known game, and Daniel King's shown it on his channel. Uh, but I'm going to show it anyway. So sorry if you've seen it before. You see, this is a nice piece of transposition, actually. Yeah. Several. Oops. Okay. So this is sort of transposing to a queen, the Queen's Gambit slash Queen's Indian structure. It's G3, right? Uh, doesn't it's look not, quite right. Um, it's, 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 I think I hesitate, I, he I hesitate to hit to criticize someone where did 2579 though, but you know, yeah, it just looks a bit grotty, it does look a bit odd, yeah, but maybe it is right. I don't know. No, I don't know. I mean, uh, H3 might be a better move, but hmm. no. okay. Four always awkward. So White thinks, okay, we'll come back there. Ninety four. Let me go A three. Why not? That's good. Ah, okay. So that, back, that's, back that's, that's, actually, yeah. that's actually a fairly obvious blunder, in fact. But yeah, he's probably playing too quickly. Black to move. Yeah. No takes F two. I was going to say take correct, knight, correct. knight F two looks uh... correct. Trying out to be moved, played. Yeah. Even if it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is right, you know. It yeah, is, I know. Yeah. Really so many open. See, G3 was not good. <laughs> well, yeah, but, okay. I know, so, push so, so, leaves a bit. So yeah. he takes on, a, on B4. He can't do anything else. Everything else is mating. Yeah. Knight takes C2 and check. King F1. That takes on E3. And then white plays Queen F5. Now you see what he's doing there. Defending F2. He's forking two knights. Yeah. So both knights are on priest of the queen. Okay, it's Ooh, probably yes. still losing, but it's um, you know, it, it's worth playing on for that reason. So what did Black play here? Okay, pause the video. Um well, I'd like to it's not an immediate win or anything, it's just a, a move that uh B4. Okay, what, what does knight e5 do? Or is that just terrible? Um, yeah. Well, he can't take that knight anyway. So knight e5, queen h3, knight f3 check. Maybe, I'm, maybe this is too hard. He, he just played knight f6. Oh, okay. And he had to see that because he's got e 3 obviously, because, and, um, yeah, not good. So, so, queen takes knight. What's wrong with it? You want to see it? Uh, yeah. I think we, we need to defend the F2 square. Okay. Right. So you're coming to F2 and then D4. He's threatening D4 at some stage, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look F1. Look F1. Queen E3 check. <laughs> Can we resign now? 
Mm. Uh, I'd offer a draw, actually, Mark. Would you? Okay. So D4 check is going to be, how can I put this? Effing huge. So that's that. Yeah, clear? Yeah. I mean, yeah. really, really clear, you know. I mean, on one blunder, and you. I don't know why he moved the knight on d7. Pardon? Why did he move the knight on d7? Because he couldn't take it's on the base. It was hanging, as we say. No, but he couldn't take it because of the mate on f f2. Yeah, but White's went in bishop c1, so you've got to be a bit careful here. Yeah? yeah. Driving it away, and then he takes one of the knights. Okay. Okay, so... So, in fact, White plays bishop c1 now. Yeah, and then you've got knight g4. Uh, you have. I mean, you, you, know, you could play queen e6 if you were boring, but uh, knight g4 is much more interesting. Yeah, that's nice. Mate with the knights. And, mm. and now, as Paul said, he can't take it because queen f2 is now his, his mate. Um, that is nice. Yeah, and yeah. if he takes the queen? Knight e3. And? Oh, okay. b4. Mm -hmm. 93 is mate, okay? Yeah. That's what I just want you to say mate. Someone say mate. <laughs> nice? Yeah. Mate. Amazing. Yeah. Lovely. Very elegant. Yeah. So White plays rook d3. He's, 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 you know, doesn't like to resign. But, you know, White's got to find things. <clears throat> Okay. D4, D4 now. Opening the bishop unopposed. Ooh, Threatening mate on h2, knight h2, mate. Yeah. Mm. So White plays with ed1, so he's got d1 to escape to, right? Hopefully. Mm. Yeah. But probably not. So what's black? What's black's next move? Thanks for asking. Um, um, Queen g1. King's queen g1. Oh, yeah, it's a queen sacrifice, isn't it? Because it opens the... <laughs> it's to deflect the knight from the de4. Yeah, so it means he can't go to e1 anymore. So knight takes two is now, but he needs oh. it to have a knight, which is very good of him. That is brilliant. Yeah. Wow. I mean, OK, allowing knight f2 is a bit is a bit poor, but the rest of the game was fantastic by Black, I thought. Yeah, and no doubt it was all calculated beforehand. So. Uh, interesting, actually. In my I don't know. I, I, it may well be. I mean, he would have expected. Oh, you mean after before knight f2? You mean? No, I mean after, I mean, after you get the opportunity of playing knight f2, then you probably would have calculated this right to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He'd have had to have done, I think, because. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Nice. I mean, we, we might see fragments of it, but you would have to see everything in, in its totality. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, my next game is, I've showed this before for Prothorn, it's one of my favourite games, but um, it, it won the best game prize at the Thessaloniki Olympiad in 1988. And it's uh, Carson, I don't know how to pronounce his surname, against Boris Corco, who was playing for the USA at that point. <coughs> yeah, it, I mean... Some of you will know Boris Gorko. He, he started out in the Soviet Union. I think he, he immigrated to Israel and then went to America. Yeah. I think Good it was player. very hard. For, it was very Good hard for him to immigrate, wasn't it? I mean, he was, really? he was he was a distant, and I think it was his life was made very difficult for him by the Russian authorities before he yeah. finally got out. So but he did play chess abroad though, but 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 he um he was a good player. So he, he, even here he's 25, 90. And was it a similar was, time as Libazon went from Soviet Union to Israel. I can't remember. I, that. Thought, I think that was before, but I could be wrong. Okay. It, it, is Gulko one of the few people who've won both the Russian and the US champions, championships? He might be. He might well be. Is that right, Colin? It's, it's from, plausible. Me from memory, which is extremely unreliable. It's entirely plausible, though, because he's still, you know. That could be a very good quiz question. So I think, <laughs> I think, I think Carson Hoyt at that point <laughs> was an IM, not a GM. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Off we go. Oh. oh no, it's the collie. Is White going to sacrifice two bishops? No. I was going to do a Rolf Harris and say, can you tell what it is yet? 
So this this is very hedgehoggy, by the way. Except the Blackshire plays six and but doesn't need to. I only say play. that because I sacrificed two bishops against Mark Fully Love in a border league game. Oh, did you? Oh, brilliant. In what, the... 87 G7? Well, I, I said to him, I'd, I tried to comfort him by saying I'd I'd seen Lasker do it previously. <laughs> Was he comforted? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did it have the opposite effect? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, bishop d5 is slightly odd, but okay. Yes. Ooh. And back play g5 here, the point, which is which is I think wrong. Which if but he's got a problem here. He's not getting much play here. So if sergeant, if I was sergeant Wilson, I would say, is that wise? Yes, he's, he's brave, but don't forget he's 25 90. He's not a complete double, mm. but it is a brave move. Mm. I feel if, if he'd been playing a gem rather than nine, he might not have done it, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Have we transposed into a line of the Borg, by the way? Is Colin still, is Gordon still on the call? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think not, but it's uh... the deferred Borg. G1. Now, now White's threatening obviously Bishop H6, so Black plays King F8. Yeah. And um, White's next move won't be a surprise to anybody, I don't think. And uh, following being Weichold, Ben Feingold's dictum, John? Well, always I was going to say... Always sack the exchange, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sa always sack the exchange. Um, or... Yeah. Or? Uh, if, but, if White takes... Bishop takes pawn, is going to be winning, because he's going to pick up the knight. It'll be too... Yeah, it'll be... It'll be it'll be two pieces where we're going to king terribly exposed and a, and a pawn actually. Yeah. So um, he took with a king. Okay. Look, G one check. It's no, hard to hard to. Check. I was say it's hard to it's resist that, but yeah. You make six check. So we have some of that. So what's the material balance now? Rook, bishop knight. Rook, knight. So it's only a rook at the moment. But now the king, the king is confined to the h file. Oh, what was that? So black plays f5, which is um, his only plausible move, actually. So otherwise, queen e3 check and queen g5 is going to be complete. <coughs> right. So white plays queen e3 check anyway, which when I, when I first saw this game seemed odd to me. Hoping that f4 would be useful. Yeah. But MF was forced anyway. Yeah. I mean, King E7, Queen G5, you know, crushing. Well, that's, that must be losing. Yeah. So um, F5. Okay. F4. Just play it on the board, Mark. Hello. <laughs> White's White's move. What's White's next move? Oh, White's move. No, it's, it's not be White's move. move. He's in check. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. After F4, White's. What's White's next move? Is it a queen sacrifice? No. <laughs> no Don't forget, they're not all queen sacrifices. Straight no, away. I know. I'm a, I was yeah. putting your leg. Queen d3. Plausible. There's a better move. Rook g6. Yeah, rook g6. No. Doesn't work. There's no follow up. Something no, like knight f6 or something like that. Try. Try another one, Jim. Let's look at knight d6 as possible. Yes, thank you. I, I've done that, analyzed it. I'm just trying to think it's yeah, useful for covering f7 as well. Yeah, so so pawn takes queen, knight f7 is actually mate on the spot. Oh, wow. Trade <laughs> <laughs> bien. Yeah. So he, he has some of the not some of the knight. And now we go queen d3. So so now, what, what's the material? Rook bishop. So, so Black's is rooking a knight, rooking a knight. He's threatening mate on g6 and h7. Two Correct. different checkmates. And how can you stop both? No, f8. Oh, no, it's the only one. By resigning? No, f8 is the only one. Yeah, then you've got queen h7 and rook g6, mate. Correct. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that's sensational, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. So, he, so he's a queen of rook and a minor piece down with mate on g6. Tremendous. The only two remaining pieces on the board uh, <laughs> actually sort of form the checkmate. 
That is fun. That well, is too really nice cool. to, Yeah, he's, 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 he's still got a rook, a cup, you know, a, a, rook, a rook and a queen though. But yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, and that's brilliant. I, I love that game. I mean, it's incredible so position that is. Yeah. <coughs> and that, I think, that I think, was Gulko lost. Sorry. No, that was Gulko as black, was it? Gulko lost. Mm. Yeah, and and Carson Hoy, Hoey, however you pronounce it, who was an IM at the time. I think it's a GM now. Yeah. Won the best game prize for that, and who can be who surprised? Uh, yeah. My favourite move yeah. is Queen E3 check because he looks all sorts of wrong. Okay, you open you open up the white squares, but it's a bit slow. But because you've got knight d6, that, that, that's that's completely winning. Knight d6 is very cute. Well, it's an amazing move, you know. But it's all about g6, isn't it, really? Yeah. In the end, but you you, you need yeah. to you, you you the knight f7 thing is 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 the tempo gaining thing that makes yeah. it work. It wouldn't work without that. So anyway, I think it's a great game. I love that. Oh, game. Yeah. And I'm going to finish off if everybody's up for it for one more study, which is very hard. Okay. I, I predicted you'd show a game, and you haven't shown it, Mark. Which one? A Frank Marshall game. Oh yeah. Well, there, there's also there's an equivalent um a later game, Bob Solimo. I presume so everyone's can... everyone must have seen yeah. Frank Marshall, uh, Queen Sack. Mm. Mm. Yeah. One of the most famous, probably of all time. I guess. There's a game with Solimo Reisman, who, which is which is with White plays a Joko piano, and he ends up playing Queen G6 in a similar manner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I thought, thought I might show that, but I thought it was a bit too well known. So um, anyway, so this is my last thing, which is a stuck the last study, and this is by a Czechoslovakian composer called Mario Matouche. He had problems in the Czech regime because he was. Um, he was well educated, but he was sort of a bit uh, against the regime, and he was also an alcoholic. So the only job he could get was like a janitor's job or something. So he, you know, he spent a lot of his time getting blind drunk and um, and composing chess endgame studies. And some did he stuff. did he become Matt Damon in the end? <coughs> I'm sorry. Explain that. Well, Matt Damon played a janitor. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and entertained. Uh, no, I, I think he started out as Matt Damon, and then became a janitor. But, and then yeah. he impressed Robin Williams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Um, it's. Um, <laughs> it's. Lo- a suddenly yeah. escaped me now. I'll think it's of it in a minute. Yeah, John, yeah, okay. your mind works in mysterious ways. Right. <laughs> so just just to take in the position. So what? So. Black's two pawns down, but the, the, the king's in a weird square. Everything's weird. And there's a pawn on g6. But I'll give you White's first move. Right. And that's threatening um, bishop b7 check. Yeah, that's very strong. Yeah. So back played king g8, so he's not check anymore. And White's next move, well, the chance you're getting it are fairly slim, but give it a go. Um, Bishop B7? No. Fine, Steve, fine. Nice try, though. Give it another go. The the film is Goodwill Hunting, by the way, I've just remembered. Thank you. Do you say bishop e7? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't quite work, does it? No. No. Yeah. Because no. why doesn't it work? Because you end up with the, you end up with less material at the end of it. So. Oh okay, yeah, that's true. Right, yeah. so fair point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so pawn takes pawn check. I mean, this is a bit unreasonable, but, um, uh, um, but the idea is right. It's the wrong. It's the wrong square. Yeah. yeah. And the point about this is what happens now. Because after queen takes queen pawn takes f7 check. Yeah. So you can't go to f8 because bishop d6 is mate. Yeah. So you have to go to h8. Yeah, and then you have got bishop a bishop b5. Correct. And this is a sort of subsvar. Believe it or not. So, yeah. so it was a queen, a queen, and a pawn down on an open. And he, king on f6. Just lose the king, yeah. Yeah. 
So, for example, Queen C6 check, King E7 is mating, mm. or F8 is mating actually. Yeah, and you've, so you've, played... you've got two threats. You've got, you've got. So, for example, if you move the H pawn, King G6 is mating. Yeah, but if you, I think you play, if you play Queen F8, you've got King E6 check, uh, Queen G, uh, sort of Queen. Uh, sorry? Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, queen G7 F8 equals Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. King E6, Queen G7 F8 equals well, Rook Queen. Whatever. Or Rook. Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. c 5 is the only move in this position. Is it? Hmm. Yeah. Because he's covering, he's covering the queening square. Queen's a little bit overworked. And he's hitting the bishop. Hmm. So, for example, he plays king e6 now, queen takes bishop, king takes, and king g7. Uh -huh. And white, black's going to be winning. Hmm. Last ball and, what, and black can block. Oh, hang on. Um, oh, yeah. Should I play queen uh, f8 equals queen, queen takes? Queen. Yeah. No. So you need to move the bishop out of the range of the queen, and there's two while well, keeping it on the long diagonal, so that so that for example, if yeah. h h six or h five, king g six is mate, but not while well, not allowing queen takes bishop. So you've got two squares to do that from. Yeah, if you play one. if you play bishop to b two, then you have got queen f two check. So mm. you've got to go to a one. A one. No, they've still got queen f. That's not necessarily f2. a problem though, is it? Um. Yeah. Right. So to queen f2 because again still queening on f8 again, yeah again you've got king e6 uh queen takes b2 f8 equals queen correct right, the so. correct move is actually um bishop b2 but you have to play it you have to work it out you have to play out the next few moves yeah um so 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 um <laughs> it's really problematic so black plays not what does he play? 97, I think. Yeah, yeah, he tries to get his knight out. And again, that's blocking king e6, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 So now he plays bishop a1. <laughs> and, and now it's Sugsvang again. He, he, he can't move that pawn because of king g6. He can't move the queen anywhere because of, because of either the king moves and it'll be mate or, or pawn queens. He can't move the knight because of king e6. So he's only got the a pawn to move, right? Yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. I'm a bit quick there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the A pawn goes. Bishop B2. So that's Bishop B2, A3, uh, Bishop B1. Bishop A1. Yeah. Now, so if you play if you play Bishop A1 first, then in this position, you only move Bishop B2, but you can't play it. Yeah. So that's why it's important to play to B2 first and not A1. Right. <clears throat> Oh, that's a... <laughs> Eight. So is, is that or is that not genius? Yeah. 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 Okay. That got first honourable mention. Oh, <laughs> didn't even win. Yeah. Didn't even get third or second or first. No. Right. What was better? What was better than that, then, Mark? Uh, nothing in that tournament, in my opinion. <laughs> it's a question of taste, you know. Mm. It, it, yeah, this this is very much a chess player's, even though it's a bizarre position, it's a chess player's position, this. Well, maybe we have a different perspective to problemists and composers. Yeah, I think that's right, yeah. yeah. I suppose they've got like a, a sort of hierarchy of, uh, of themes, and if uh, there's a different theme that someone likes, rather than deflection or... Uh, don't forget, player, then don't gets, forget yeah. they, they're, they're, they're going to have comprehensive knowledge of other studies and whatever, so... Oh, absolutely, yeah. There was an interesting um, a few years ago, not that many years ago. There was a a, a big sort of kerfuffle in the um, in the world of, of studies. There's a fairly fairly aged um, um, Russian composer called Yuri Baslov, who who write who who get who who studies are generally very game like, and and very sort of elegant, um, quite quite old school in a way, you know. Whereas the current trend, and there's and there's also a Ukrainian composer called Sergei Dibuk. And he, he does this thing where it's incredibly complicated and, and, there, and, there, and there's a line which looks like it's a winning line. There's one move which makes it not work. And there's a different line and everything works in the same way, but you, can't, you haven't got that move anymore. So it's like there's a thematic trot, try, which is refuted by a line and you play the same thing in a different, slightly different way, the same basic sequence and it works. And they're quite long and they're quite complicated. They're unsolvable really and they're not very elegant. Um, but that's that, that's a trend that, that existed for a bit, and there, there was a, there was um, there was a tournament, and Diluc, 
uh, was given second place and Basil was given first. And Dillick had this massively intricate, long, com complicated, various lines. And Basil had this clean, elegant study. And he um, he wrote to the uh, to the to the tournament organizer. He, he, he's double blind. You don't know who the judge is. You know um, the solvers don't know who the judge is unless he writes stuff down. They might recognize his style. But and he wrote something which um, was, was translated into English by somebody. And it was how can I put this? Uh, massively, in, you know, um, uh, swearing and and calling the the, the, uh, the judge and, and, and the people who organized it complete idiots. And, uh, and he got banned from any competition for two years and then he, then he was allowed back in again. Is his name Dominic <laughs> Cumming? Well, <laughs> Sergei Didup, you know, he's, um, he's, he, he's, a, he's a genius. It's just that it depends what you like in endgame studies. You know, and this guy mm. liked the elegance and, and the clarity, you know. Mm. He was the judge, so yeah. So that, that there, there aren't many um, there aren't many kerfuffles in the, in the study world, but that's that that was one of them. So anyway, so that's me done. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. Thanks very much, Mark. Thanks very much, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And, really, really, really good. An amazing, really good. amazing collection. Yeah, yeah. lots of nice games, and, and, and I, 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 mean, that last study, I think, is. Uh, and and really I lost my bet as well. What's that? You, that I didn't. I didn't have the. You didn't Martin show me the Frank Marshall Queen G three, oh, yeah. double oh, X. No. Mm. <laughs> really nice yeah. Yeah. Let, let me thank Mark again. Um, fantastic, Mark. Actually, lo loads of very good studies. They're worth having another look at one or two of them. I think.